Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Now, is that a Pokemon I haven't caught before? I think so. Seems like a new one. A Capsa Kid. How do I not destroy this thing? Take down? Nope, that took it down. Cool, Capsa Kid is gone. Ba Barboach was damaged by recoil. We also got Jump Luff now, because of evolving our Pokemon. I think this is another Pokemon, a Nimble. I haven't fought before, so let's let's catch this if we can as well. Caught it off guard. Uh, Mega Drain, just to not kill it, but also do damage, because it's it's not it's 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 the same. It's very resistant to this type of move. Which means I'm not going to do as much damage, which is more reliable, but I also want to make sure I'm chipping its health down enough. Defense partially fell, but let's catch it, sir. Just like that. One, two, three, got it. Quarter nimble. I wonder what Pokemon I should actually lead with for the moment. I feel like I should lead with something else. It's a bug type. Cool. I would, I would assume that would be a bug type, so. Uh, but I think I'm going to switch in Crocolar Lore again. Just because it's probably going to have the type advantage in a lot of this area, probably. Maybe. I don't know. I can also zoom. I should probably be dashing around a bit more. Since we can. Another trainer. Those Pillars of Light. Have you seen uh, ever seen the, one of those pillars of light? You can spot them from uh, even from 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 even from far away. I have seen them. Aurora, Aurora, the student. Aurora, Aurora. I don't know. I'm bad at reading the names. Found its charcoal. How do you know about the charcoal? You don't know about the charcoal. Also, well, this is a trainer battle, so I don't need to worry about catching you. <laughs> Goodbye. Hmm, too bright. There's also a mankey out there, I believe. Do we have rock rough? I don't think we have rock rough. But I'm going to check. We do have Rock Rough. Okay. Just going to get rid of it. Shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. Do you want to catch a Mankey though, sir? I think it's a fighting type. I shouldn't have done that. It's fine. I knew what I was doing. I knew exactly what I was doing. It's called mashing buttons. It's a good thing there's more. More opportunities. Now, I might actually be able to throw a nest ball. Possibly. It has a higher chance because it's lower leveled. Compared to my Pokemon. Yeah, there we go. That was probably, probably a good move. Safe move. Fighting type. Pig monkey Pokemon. Cool. I would not have picked that. That title for it. But anyway. So I still can't see stuff that is far away. And I'm worried by that. Just a little bit. Grab some more stuff. Sunny day. Cool. Just gonna keep rushing around trying to get anything that I can find. As well as fighting all the Pokemon that I can. But without actually fighting them, that is. Come on, this way. That way. Another Psyduck. And some Skiddo. So many Pokemon. 
probably a bad matchup, but that's okay. Also, we need to heal, but that's okay. I'll just send some something else out for the moment. Also, hello, I see you. And I will fight you, I guess. Why not? Okay. Uh, how do I not... <laughs> uh... Hang on. 50, 40... I'll use Disarming Voice. Okay. Uh, Pokeball. Nope. Cool. That's fine. It used Growth, which has raised its attack and special attack. Just gonna throw another ball. One. You've got to be kidding me. It's raising its attack some more. This is fine. Uh, po po Pokeball? One, two, three, caught. Nice. There we go. Add that to my collection. And my Pokédex. That's kind of, kind of is my collection. Is that a bell sprout? It's a grass type. Uh, let, me, let me see what the thing in the background is, what I saw. Please. I think that's a bell sprout. Nope, not a, not a bell sprout. That's actually completely different. It was hard to tell from the background, but anyway. It's a tad bulb. Confusion? Nice, that was pretty much perfect. Could not have been better. Pokeball? Tadbulb was caught. I think it's Grass Electric? No, just Electric. It would be cool if it was Grass Electric. That seems like a very unique combination of things. But I don't know if there, I don't know if there is any uh, uh, Grass Electric Pokemon. Grab, 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 grab item, grab, grab item. Thank you. Send out something to fight. And also, there's another trainer, so that that seems like what we should do next. Stop, <laughs> stop running. It's fine. The wind goes whoosh, and the cow goes moo. Area 1 of the West Province has a lot of wind. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It's about to have you loo lose. Nays in the student. Sent out Venonat. Let's use Confusion since it's super effective. Nice. Gone like the wind. No, don't stop my whooshing! Okay. I won't. Not anymore. Is that a... No, I don't think so. Hang on, I need to check my... My thing. How do I check my thing? How do I check my thing? I think it's on the other thing. Uh, I need to check my profile. Okay, no shiny scene. Also, we have 26 recipes. I didn't think we had that many before, but apparently we, we do now. We also have four gym. We, ha we also have four badges. Not gym badges, just badges. I still haven't seen any shinies, apparently, though, so I'm, I'm expecting to find one eventually. I just don't know when. I'm not- I probably won't know is the thing, because I don't know all the Pokemon well enough that if I see one, pretty feather, has no effect. Cool. If I see a shiny Pokemon, I'm probably not going to know because it's just going to be a differently colored other Pokemon. Also, that's a abusal of some kind. Some kind of Terra type. Okay. Just going to deviate from the path a little bit here. Wow. 
Where is this thing? Why is it all the way down there? Why is it all the way down there? It's fine. What Pokemon? It's fine. I could heal, probably. I have Lemonade. I have not met Max Ether Lemonade. Also, can I sort this? Sort by... Newest first? Seems a little bit more sorted. Just a little bit. Sorted by type. That's better. That's what I wanted to see. Ah, I, I, every time I've seen this page, I've been so thrown off by how sorted it is. So I think that sorts for every page, possibly. Which is interesting. Anyway, let's switch to Barboach, bar since this is a fire type thing down here. Also, that's a thing, isn't it? That's a thing! I want you. How do I not kill you? Level 14. I can't not kill, kill you. Um, bug water. Pokemon we've caught before. Referendly when caught. Uh, yeah. What if I just Ultra Ball? How will that go for me? I think because I'm higher leveled, it does make them the some Pokemon easy to catch. But I really don't know, so. I feel like any move I do, though, to this Pokemon is probably going to take it out, is the thing. I wish I could throw mud at them. Do I want to switch Pokemon for this, maybe? It's my weakest one, which is Curlia, so... Oh, I can't switch. Why can't I switch? Yeah, that's not a good idea. Let me just throw another ball. Another Great Ball. I really don't know how to do this. Hurt by fire spin. Can I please swap in? Pokemon can't be switched out. Why? Why? Maybe I can try something? What's the weakest one I have? I think it's Mudshot. Please resist this. It's not going to resist it. It avoided the attack. Well, that's not quite what I was going for, but okay. Fire Spin is still ongoing, I think. Mud Shot, please don't kill it. It avoided the attack again. This is... This is... This is a thing. Also, there's an item on the ground. Can I please do something and succeed? Not that much. Okay. I really wanted to catch that. It looks like a really cool Pokemon. Oh well. Rare Bone. Sold at a high price. And XP Candy. Well, that was a good usage of healing items. Where am I going? That's the boxes. Okay. Uh, let me just quickly change box view to uh, held items. Quickly scan for any items that I haven't picked up. It's very rare that you will find that, but you can, so... Just want to make sure that I'm getting anything I can. Okay. Let's go. I think that's a new one, so let's go ahead and do that. Two stars. And it's fire. Literally fire. It's so hot it burns. That's just how fire is. It burns because it's hot and it's hot because it burns. Oh my goodness, I have seen that before. Okay, it's a ghastly. But that is interesting. A ghastly that has a fire terror type. Could be worth it to catch, that is. Uh, let me Aqua Tail. Because that'll, that'll re beat this up so fast. Used Icy Wind? Okay. Very interesting. 
But let's finish this off. Please, finish it off. Please. Please, do my attack. Please, eventually do my attack. There we go. Nope, we cut ourselves in confusion. Arg! The other Pokemon are good, gonna do the rest for the fight of the fight for me. Because of everything else taking so long. Maybe that's why everything takes so long in regular battles, because the Terror, terror Raid battles do weird things. There we go. Do I catch or not catch? Catch. And caught. Very nice. Now I have to figure out how to get out of this hole that I dropped down into. I fell in the hole. Ghost poison, obviously. But with an extra fire. Terror type, so. Also, whoa, I can press minus to open up the Pokédex. Just like that. I didn't realize I could do that, but now I have and I'm happy. Got 80 Pokemon now. And get a Water Stone. Ah, uh, that's full. That's full. It's fine. That's how it's supposed to look. Now I'm interested to see if Barboach needs to level up to evolve. Or if he needs the stone for it. Maybe. I'll give him a medium. Okay, so that didn't work, so maybe... No, it, it says, it just straight up says who can use it and who can't use it, okay. So it's not that. I don't, I don't know how to evolve it then. Also Sunstone. I don't know when I got that, but that's, that's good to have. Anyway, let's keep moving. Start zooming around. Get some more Pokemon taken care of. Watch the mountain move. You fighting? Yes, you are fighting. Good. Do some more fighting. Please. Aim for the ones I'm aiming at. You really? Okay. It's fine. I don't ask for much, but this is r ridiculous. Just a little bit. Also, I'm sure I can get up here. Yeah, I can. An item over this way. Nope, please. Please, 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 game. Aquatail. Slap. We're getting there. I think it's a rock across the way from here. Found an agility. So I think that's a Pokemon that I haven't got yet that I just defeated. Cool. Goodbye, Flittle. Probably should switch Pokemon. Lead Pokemon, that is. Just for a second, while I'm training a little bit more. Oh, there's another one. We can fight that then. Try to catch it. I wonder how many Pokemon there actually are in this game, because I don't know. I'm interested to find out. Disarming voice. Maybe Dole Eyes. My attack fell, that's good. I mean, for catching a Pokemon is good, so... In fact, it might have been perfect, but I don't know, because I can't see the stats, so... One, two, and three. Caught. Very nice. Psychic type.
Now, I wonder if I should head back to the school and get some more of the lessons done, since there are a few available. I mean, I haven't gone incredibly far in this direction. I don't know how much more there is before the next stop. I guess I could check for that. But I don't know. A lot of this area that we can skip past, basically. There's a poker stop right there. Okay, I'll, I'll go to that, and then I'll go back to the school for more le lessons. I think there's also a backpacker? Or some, ki some kind of trainer there that we can fight. So I should probably do that, so... But I'm not sure if I should do it now. I don't know. Just gonna change start the first Pokemon starter Pokemon. I don't know. What's the Pokemon in first this first position? My lead Pokemon. Hey there. Hey, I'm hitchhiking. Can I catch a ride on your Pokemon? Ah uh, no. Easier. The pa backpacker. Fungus. If it was evolved, I could make the joke, but since I don't, since it's not evolved, I can't make the joke. Anyway, it's super effective to use a flying type move up against her, apparently, so that's good to know. I don't know how that worked out so well for me, but it did, so. so sorry I asked. You better be. Anyway, let's make our way up. Since it's not far now. Oh, more Pokemon. It's funny how that works in this game. It's like it's named after it or something. Use acrobatics because that's gonna be super effective. Very nice. And I see the item, but I think I'm gonna ignore it because I can I can hold myself back. Just barely. Okay, let's register this Pokemon Center. I like to heal my Pokemon. And there we go. Registered at the center, and let's go back to school. Which way is the right direction? Oh, hey, I can just do that, can't I? Just maybe? No. Okay, that's fine. Naranja Academy, let's go. So there's also still a bunch of stuff to do here in the school as well. I haven't checked many of the extra rooms, so I probably should do that at some point. Oh, so many classes. Let's go history. Just so much learning. I just want to see if there's anything that I haven't learned here that I would like to learn, but I'm not sure if there will be. Greetings, my little students. Whatever di you did yesterday, it is now part of history. Today, we will continue to unravel the marvels that history has presented to us. About 2,000 years ago, this region came under the rule of the Paldian Empire. Historical accounts describe the Paldian Emperor as being quite the, the, the dictator. This emperor also zealously believed that the legend of the treasure that rests deep within Area Zero I must mention that the civilizations of our ancestors were not as developed as ours, ours is today. People back then were far more likely to believe in mysterious legends, magic, and beings beyond human compre comprehension. In an attempt to gain the power to stand against Paldia's neighboring countries, the Emperor sent people in droves to, jo uh, to join the hunt for the fabled treasure of Area Zero. Aha! Perfect timing to make eye contact, young Jeremy. Answer me this. Approximately how many years ago was it 
in the Paldia re- uh, Paldian Empire began to rule this region. Uh, 1,000 years ago. Incorrect, I- Did- have- that's fine. You're off by an entire millennium. Why, 1,000 years ago, the Paldian Empire was already- had already begun to, to collapse. I don't think one of the answers was the answer, anyway. The answer is about 2,000 years ago. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't paying attention, apparently. That is when the great era of exploration began. I guess that's the point of this, though, is to make sure you're getting it- getting the information if you still get it wrong. However, it is said that not a single adventurer sent out by the Emperor ever reached the depths of Area Zero. Was it the punishing journey itself that barred the way? Their way? Or perhaps some unknown creature? The resounding failure of this great era of exploration almost certainly heightened the air of mystery surrounding the crater. Oh, what? I wouldn't give an ex- Oh, what I- What I wouldn't give to explore Area Zero in its untouched state or at all at that time. I suppose I can only hope for the swift invention of a time machine. That's the end of the lesson. I learned things. I mean, it's kind of lore-based, but that's 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 still good to learn. It might come in handy. Home economics. We keep unlocking more lessons the further into this we get, I, I think, maybe? We have been unlocking more stuff, so... Put away your phones! It's time to begin class! In our last class, I believe we talked about the efforts, effects you can get from food on your picnics. You can receive meal powers and even restore HP for all the Pokémon in your party. It is truly convenient, a convenient means of healing your Pokémon. Unfortunately, as I'm sure you're aware, it is not suited for use in battles. When you cannot make food, or when you w wish to restore HP quickly. In times such as those, you should make use of healing items such as potions, which you can purchase from Pokemarts, or the school store. Healing items are immediately effective and can be used any time that you op can open your bag. They are, however, consumed after one use. Potions restore 20 HP, Super Potions restore 60 HP, and Hyper Potions restore 120 HP. The pricier the item, the more HP it will restore. Keep in mind how much money you have when you are stocking up on these items. However, unforeseen happenings are an inextricable part of traveling from place to place. Imagine if you will, the following scenario. You find yourself with injured Pokemon, but you have no potions. You are out of sandwich ingredients, and there are no Pokemon centers nearby. Tell me, Master Jeremy, what should you search for when in a perilous t situation with no way to heal your Pokemon? Items on the ground? Perfectly correct, Master Jeremy. I see you are w oh, well learned in survival techniques. If you are s some see something shiny on the ground, it is actually an item that has been dropped there. You may be able to find a restorative item, such as an orange berry or a potion in this way. You can use the R button to send out your Pokemon to pick up such items as well. And then there are berries, of course. Berries, by the way, aren't like items for shops from shops. If you let your Pokemon hold one, it will decide on its own when to eat the berry during a battle. Letting a Pokemon decide this timing for itself can be quite interesting. At any rate, if you find yourself in need of healing, I suggest that you look around for shining items on the ground. If you can't find such items, there are other me methods that you may employ for healing your... Ah, but I see the bell demands that topic wait. Our time together has come to an end for today. I bid you all farewell. That was cool. I, I, I guess that's very basic information, but it's, it's interesting. It tells you about the items on the ground and how you can pick them up with your Pokemon. But anyway, that's probably it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.